Hello everyone, this is Rushira. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on building a neural network using TensorFlow, Keras, and Python. If you need a refresher on how a neural network works, I have a complete video on that. I have the link in the description box below. Please feel free to check. In this video, I will focus on the code only, how to code a neural network using TensorFlow, Keras, and Python. TensorFlow is arguably the most popular package for neural network. If you're a complete beginner in TensorFlow, don't worry, I'll try to make it as simple and clear as possible. And I am using a Google Colab notebook for this tutorial simply because you don't have to install or set up the TensorFlow in your computer. You can simply get the Google Colab notebook and you just import it. So let's import TensorFlow as TF. It may take a little bit of time to get the import. Okay, importing is done. For this tutorial, I use the MNIST dataset that you will get from this Keras library. Keras.datasets dot MNIST. Okay, and then simply X train Y train x test y test now mnist dot load load data okay simply it's loading data just loaded the data is already separated as training set and testing set so now let's check how our training data set looks like you can see it comes as a numpy array and it's three-dimensional. Check the shape. You can see 60,000 by 28 by 28. And 60,000 is the number of data, and 28 by 28 is the size of each data or each picture. Let me show you. Import matplotlib.py plot as plt and plt.in show. Uh, let's get x train 0, the first one. It's the picture of 5. Go 10, 10th picture or 11th picture. It's a picture of 3. Now let's see how this uh, data looks like. The raw data looks like this. All these pixel values. So the number ranges between 0 to 255 because that's how the pixel values are. It can range from 0 to 255. Today our job is going to be building a neural network and training that. So if you give a 28 pixel by 28 pixel this kind of data, your model knows which digit it is. So if we give this data, model should know that this is a picture of 3. Now let's check our labels. So Y train, you see? So Y train, the label, they are all the digits. Uh, y train, can you see, it's three. Okay, before we can dive into the model, we have to take care of one more thing, that is, you can see the data has a big range, zero to 255. I want to scale it down to zero to one. So uh, you can do it simply by Dividing x train by 255 and x test by 255. Okay. Now let's check x train 10 again. And you see the data scaled down from 0 to 1. Now the model development time. So model tf.keras.models sequential. Okay, so this is going to be a sequential model. So inside it, we need to build the layers. The first layer is always the input layer. So tf.keras.layers.flatten. So that we have to flatten the data. You can see this data, our input data, they are two dimensional. And we have to input the input shape here. And our input shape is 28 by 28. We have seen it before. 
remember 60,028 by 28 so this 28 by 28 is our input shape the next layer is going to be a dense layer we have dot keras dot layers dot dense and in dense layer you input the number of neurons and an activation function so i will put 50 as the number of neurons you can try other numbers as well i will show you in the later of the video an activation function i chose Relu. then tf dot keras dot layers dot dense again i'm trying to make this model as simple as possible so the third layer is going to be my output layer the number of neurons in the output layer is going to be the number of classes the number of classes in this one is 10 and the activation function because this is a classification problem i will use softmax for classification models it is common to use sigmoid or softmax activation function that gives us probability values now we need to define the loss function tf dot keras dot losses dot now sparse categorical cross entropy so the cross entropy losses are usually used for classification problems in my last two videos i described the loss functions for classification and for regression problems please feel free to go through that i have the link in the description box below now let's compile the model for compile i will use optimizer as SGD, which is stochastic gradient descent. I described gradient descent in detail in my last video. Please feel free to check. So, loss is loss function that we just described or defined here. Lastly, matrix. We need a matrix that will keep evaluating the model throughout the process. Finally, just fit model.fit. You need to fit the data to it. X frame, X, not X, Y frame. And we have to put the epochs. How many epochs you want to keep training? I'll put five. Done. Oh, I put three S here. So you see the model training started. So in each epoch, it is going to show you the loss and accuracy after the epoch. In an ideal model, the loss should keep going down and accuracy should keep going up. Okay, the five epochs are done. You can see the loss started 0.68 and ended at 0.25. It kept going down. And accuracy started at 82% and ended at 92%. Now we should check how model performs on the test data. Model dot evaluate x text y test. So it's ninety three percent. Not bad at all, right? Well, the model looks pretty successful here. Now, if your model is not successful or not giving really good results in your own data how do you change the model and what do you do so let's try to tweak this model just to show you how you can tweak the model and what is the parameters first of all if we keep the sequential model the input layer definitely stays the same but you can change here okay you can change the number of neurons instead of 50 you can use 100 you can change the activation function. You can, uh, there are lots of other activation functions instead of ReLU of what if I use 10H, okay? And you can also include more layers. You can keep exact same number of neurons and activation functions, or you can uh, change the number of neurons. Like one is 100, you can put another is 50. Let's try this model again uh, make it model one the name so this is our model one let's just copy this code so that we don't have to type again okay model one 
model one. And so optimizer, instead of stochastic gradient descent, I will use Adam. This is one of the very popular optimizers out there. Okay, you can, uh, instead of five, you can train for 10 epochs. If you train more, sometimes it improves performance, but sometimes it can overfit as well. So you have to really do some trial and error to find how many epochs uh, work for you. Okay, let's check. You see the model training started again. Okay, this time the accuracy started at 91%. You can see loss kept going down and accuracy is going up. It's done and you can see that finally we have the accuracy of 99%. Let's check if it performs as well in our test set. X test, Y test. Well, it's 97%. Slight overfitting, but not too much. It's acceptable. So congrats, you just built a successful neural network using TensorFlow, Keras, and Python. And you also learned how you can tweak your model to improve your performance. That's quite a lot of learning in one day. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.